I'm really interested in how the coast changes over time, and that could be a beach and a dune complex, it could be a barrier and an estuary, um, it could be a, a rock shore platform, it could be marine terraces that you see, and they all change and evolve over time, and I'm interested in understanding that change in those different coastal environments. So I look at how estuaries um, infill and change over time. So for example, I've looked at the Manawatu estuary, um, that on a, on a global scale has changed really, really rapidly over the last 10,000 years. And it's it infilled, it been filled with sediment coming out of the, the Manawatu uh, River. And there's something like 14 cubic kilometers of material has gone into what is now the Manawatu coastal plain to change it from an estuary to the coastal plain where you've got the towns of Palmerston North and Foxton. In the context of, say, understanding an estuary and a coastal plain in filling, so many of New Zealand's towns and cities are actually built on coastal plains. So um, the whole of the Manawatu, we've got the Heratonga Plains in um, Hawke's Bay, we've got um, the Poverty Bay Flats up near Gisborne, those are just uh, the Canterbury Plains. Because the coast is so dynamic and changeable, um, you know, New Zealand, the, We've got, we've got everything here, we've got rocky coasts, we've got barriers, we've got estuaries. Um, so there's, you know, it, you, can, you can work out the coast and still do something, you know, different every day, every year um, to, to understand that bigger picture of how the coast changes.